You're watching New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And a sure sign that the holiday season is upon us, the lighting of the Lincoln Center holiday tree. It is part of the Winter's Eve celebration on the Upper West Side, and it is all happening tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg joins us with a preview of all of the festivities that are going to be happening in just a little time. Lauren. Liz, the countdown is on. You can see the tree behind me. The stage is set, and this neighborhood is really going to start booming with people. The crowds will start to gather. This has become an annual ritual here, the 13th annual Winter's Eve Festival in the Lincoln Square neighborhood here on the Upper West Side. And the tree, well, it's at the center of it all. This year's tree is filled with ornaments created by Wendy Addison. She's an artist who uses a lot of sparkle in her work. She actually uses old fashioned glitter made in Germany. It's just glass and sterling silver, and it gives her pieces a real reflective quality. On the tree, you'll see spangles and birds. And performing at the tree lighting, several acts, including a native New Yorker known for her poetic vocals. Suzanne Vega spoke with Bill Ritter about her long career. I imagined when I was a, a teenager alone in my room with my guitar, I had pictured being on a tour bus and playing to, to people all over the world, which is what I'm doing now. And of course, you'll get to hear Suzanne Vega tonight. And behind me, we've got some of the folks from Avenue Q. They're also going to be performing. Jed and Lexi will give you a little sample. There they are. Oh, <laughs> happy Winter's Eve. Oh. We love you, Channel 7. We love you. And oh you too, Lauren. Goodness. Oh, thanks, guys. So this is what you want to come out for. We're going to have much more tonight at 5. For now, we're live in Lincoln Square. Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And we love Avenue Q. All right, Lauren. Thank you. It's such a great night and great weather for it, too. All right, thanks. Eyewitness News first at four continues on this Monday, November 26th, and you're looking at a live picture right now of the Upper West Side of Manhattan where everyone is getting ready for tonight's Winter's Eve festivities. You can hear the choir there. They are practicing for tonight's celebrations. Uh, beautiful night, Lee says, for the festivities. We're going to have another live report coming up on Eyewitness News at 5 o'clock. Well, a big celebration of the season happens tonight. The lighting of the Lincoln Center holiday tree, and it's part of the 13th annual Winter's Eve celebration at Broadway and 63rd Street in the Upper West Side. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is live at the festival. Hey, Victor. Lauren, how's it going out hey, there? Hey, so much fun. What a great night. Take a look at the crowd that's gathered over here. They are about, oh, I don't know, 15 deep on this side, and they go to the other side as well. And on the stage, Lori Berkner, who, of course, kids and families love her music. She's performing. And take a look at the tree. It is a 25-foot spruce from Honesdale, Pennsylvania, and it will certainly look beautiful when it is lit, and that is coming up soon. And this is certainly getting people in the mood for the holidays. Tonight is a great night to shop. Stores in the area will be open late. Many offer performances and restaurants offer small bites at small prices. Gives you a chance to test out some of the new restaurants in the neighborhood and visit some of your longtime favorites. Most restaurants are selling their food for about two to three dollars or so. And we wanted to talk to somebody here in the crowd. Joining us now is Helene. You're visiting from near Port, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach in Florida. And you opted for the winter instead. Well, we came in the spring and we're going home in the winter. And it's a nice night, isn't it? It's a beautiful evening. It makes everybody feel good and happy, especially after Sandy. Everybody needs a lift and a smile. Thanks so much for saying that. We're going to be bringing you much more. We're live right now in Lincoln. Lincoln Square, Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And I'm Lauren Glassberg, live on the Upper West Side. We've got the Brooklyn Youth Chorus behind me singing lovely tunes. And take a look at the crowd for Winter's Eve. I think we can use a couple more people. What do you think? <laughs> there, Lauren. I'm going to join you out there. I'm leaving the studios right now for the lighting of the tree, and that happens in the next half hour. Bill is going to come along here with Diana Williams. We'll be right back. Suzanne Vega warming up the crowd, singing already as the countdown continues to the Lincoln Center holiday tree lighting. She's a native New Yorker, went to high school just a few blocks away. Shadé Barron-Wall will join her 
and light the tree and help us all celebrate Winter's Eve still ahead. If we Right now, people are enjoying Winter's Eve on Manhattan's Upper West Side, just a couple blocks from here. Lauren Glassberg is out there, Sade is there, Lauren's there, and Lauren's going to fill us in on what's going on. Hey guys, what a beautiful night for this. We've got a 25-foot spruce. We have Suzanne Vega singing beautiful songs on stage. And take a look at what you're missing. Thousands of people. Don't you want to come on out? It's Winter's Eve. We'll have it for you live as the tree is lit momentarily. <laughs> You're introducing one of the lovely acts today? Two of the lovely acts. Yes. Oh, two. Marcus Strickland and Brave Combo. Jazz and sort of folk rock polka. polka. Oh, very nice. I want to yeah. see the polka. Come over. I'm going to check out the polka. That's what we'll do. News Cop to 7, high above it. So uh, Bill will be out there. And of course, uh, Sade's putting the last of the ornaments on the 20-foot tree right now. She'll be lighting that up soon. And this is just always a great neighborhood event. And there are uh, hundreds of people outside already getting ready on a night where temperatures in the mid-40s, maybe not the mid-60s of last year, but it'll really be great. It'll be dry and the winds won't be too gusty. On street level, looking pretty good as well. Thanks, we are less than 10 minutes away from the lighting, annual lighting of the Lincoln Center Holiday Tree. All around our area, the 13th annual Winter's Eve festivities are underway. Folks are enjoying the restaurants, the shops, the vendors. With more fun and excitement, our Lauren Glassberg is live at Lincoln Center right now. Lauren? You know, Diana and Bill, this is the night when the Upper West Side really comes alive. The stores are open late. There are performances not just here, Suzanne Vega behind me, but throughout the neighborhood. And one of the best things about Winter's Eve, all the eating. You get to sample lots of food from area restaurants. So excited to be here. Glenn Harris opened his restaurant, The Smith, just two weeks ago in the Lincoln Square neighborhood. And tonight, The Smith is one of nearly three dozen restaurants participating in Winter's Eve. He's giving folks an affordable taste of pan fried ricotta gnocchi with truffle crema. We serve large salads, steak frites, um, great appetizers. Um, it's the neighborhood restaurant. Peer in through the glass at Alice Tully Hall to see the American Table Cafe and Bar but you don't need to take in a performance to eat here. The menu is uh, very comfort driven and um, it's a Marcus Samuelson brand, so a lot of uh, his uh, vision is uh, instilled in the menu here. And tonight, sample this dish at Winter's Eve. It's a pulled pork uh, sandwich, so it's a slider. We braise, slow braise the pork and then we're adding an apple slaw to it and simply it's on a little uh, slider bun. Another neighborhood newcomer, Indie Food and Wine on 65th Street. We have lots of fresh salads, salad side dishes, soups, sandwiches, and then at nighttime at 5 o'clock we roll out a bar and, you know, on cast iron and we do, it turns into more of a wine bar. They'll be offering something to keep you warm tonight. Kind of an Italian version of a French onion soup, so it's caramelized uh, sweet onions and a little chicken stock, and then it's topped with a little uh, crostini, which is a little piece of toast done with a uh, shaved parmesan. So explore the restaurants, shop, and celebrate the season during the 13th annual Winter's Eve. I think this event we're doing this evening is just a great way to showcase some of the simple things that we do. And again, love being a part of the neighborhood. So this is really your chance to be part of the neighborhood as well. The restaurants will be open late, serving up all of their samples, about 2 to $4 worth. And come on out, bring the whole family, because we have hours ahead. And that tree, well, you know what's happening soon enough. We're live on the West Side. Lauren Glass for Channel 7 Eyewitness News. With the tree. That's what's going to happen. Suzanne Vega singing in the background. We love our neighborhood. It's going to be so great. Much. We're going to rush out of here right after the 6 o'clock show. And, uh, but the big moment, they're going to light the tree. Did I give away the secret? They're going to light it? No. No, we've been saying that. Okay, it's just minutes away. Coming up next, we'll see the Lincoln Square <laughs> Holiday Tree Lighting live right here on Channel 7. And we are back with a moment we've all been waiting for, the annual lighting of the Lincoln Center Holiday Tree. Sade Badarinwa is outside, surrounded by a big crowd of people, and a little chillier this year than last year, right Sade? You're right about that, Diana. It is a lot colder here this time around. Last year it was 65 degrees, so you definitely need the coat out here, but it has not stopped these, the crowds out here. <laughs> Do you hear them? There are literally thousands of people who are out here for this New York City tradition, this tradition that lives on. And helping to kick things off, we have singer-songwriter Suzanne Vega. Hello, Suzanne. Hi. It's, 
It's so good to have you out here. You are a native New Yorker. Yes, I've been here uh, many, 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 many years. Yep. And you went to high school right around the corner, LaGuardia High School. Yeah, it moved here after I graduated. Yeah, I went on 46th Street. What is it like being a part of this New York City tradition here, the lighting of the tree, and being a native New Yorker? It's really thrilling. I was telling the audience before you came that I, it was a long journey from 109th Street all the way down here to 16th, wherever, 65th, <laughs> you know, but it's thrilling. It's great. It is nice, isn't yeah. it? We've got so many of these kids here behind you who grew up listening to your music. You've inspired so many. Thank you. And you are actually, you have a, a new album that's coming out. Actually, it's out now, but you know what? I think we're ready for the countdown. Are we ready? Right, yeah. We're going to take it from 10. You guys ready? Ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Love it, love it. What a great and festive occasion. If you get a chance, if you're on the Upper West Side, go out and check Winter's Eve. It's a great evening, great community event. Enjoy. And the test three two one it's not officially winter yet of course but it sort of looks like it on the upper west side tonight just moments ago our own shot a batter noir helped flip the switch to light up the holiday tree across from lincoln center 13th annual winter's eve festival is kicked off officially the city's largest holiday party right now continues in lincoln square until nine o'clock tonight food free music a blast for everybody shot is there with suzanne vega she performed Lots of acts tonight. It's going to mm -hmm. be a lot of food out there, too. And what a great night for it. A lot of people outside of our studios. Everyone's milling around, and we're lucky that yeah. we're doing it tonight, and we're not doing it tomorrow That's night. Right. Really That's really spoiled. <laughs> you know, that balloon inflation last week, we go, winter's yep. eve tonight. Yeah, the weather is cooperating. Party all the time. You know, I call it a holiday spirit snowfall is what we're going to have here. You know, oh, just, just you know, go. get a little bit on the tree, a little bit on the meadow here, maybe a little bit more north and west. Maybe you're lucky <laughs> in the spirit tomorrow morning.